Om Shanti, we are here doing the recording of two days, that is yesterday's 11th of June and today's 12th of June. You're going to be able to listen to them one after the other. So in today's blessing, God wants us to transform everything which is wasteful into powerful with the help of good wishes. Let's see what does he have to say here. Baba says, may you be a holy swan who transforms anything wasteful into powerful with your good wishes. So a holy swan is one who puts aside anything negative and imbibes the positive. While seeing and hearing, do not look or listen because the mind gets every information through these doors, the eyes and the ears. So God says, while seeing and hearing, do not look or listen. Negative means wasteful things. So do not listen to perform or speak of wasteful things. Transform anything wasteful into powerful. For this, you need to have good wishes for every soul. Only then the right energy is going to pass through. Only then your thoughts, your words will be listened to by the other soul. But if you got negative feelings for the other soul and still you're talking something sweet, that sweetness is not going to be felt by the other soul because there's something negative, something impure in your mind towards that soul. So first thing is to clean and clear the mind and the intellect or the feelings and then only your words will have an effect on the other person. And God says, for this you need to have good wishes for every soul. With good wishes, even something wrong becomes right. Therefore, it doesn't matter what someone is like. We generally say this person is like this only. This person is never going to change. This person has got this habit. God says, no, those are not good wishes. Simply continue to give good wishes. Good wishes will change stone to water and anything wasteful will be transformed into something powerful. So it's a continuous process. You can't be thinking good wishes for a person right now and the next moment if that person doesn't behave in the right manner, you start giving that person negative vibrations or think negative about that person because your good wishes have just got nullified with those negative wishes. That's not the way how you go about in life taking two steps forward and taking ten steps backwards. So good wishes means good wishes along with the power to tolerate. How do you do that? How do you bring about this kind of transformation within you? Is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. So you can't add uh, nectar or let's say any form of pure thing and put a drop of poison into it. So if you need to remove that poison, you need to keep on adding the pure water into it. You have to keep on adding it till the time the old water changes and everything is gone. Similarly over here, our good wishes towards other people have to be constant, whether it's our family members, whether it's friends, whether it's neighbors, anybody. So to learn this art, you can come to Brahma Kumaris and learn this beautiful method of changing your life, changing your relationships. With this, Om Shanti.